Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I'm really excited to share with you guys the fact that I just bought my dream watch. You can see here there are 12 slots in this case and uh, the 12th one is empty and it's been empty up until yesterday. Um, I, uh, I knew that I wanted to fill that space with something special and I was 99.9% .9 sure what I was gonna buy um, and it just took a really long time I think to convince myself to pull the trigger because the watch that uh, goes in that last slot is substantially more expensive um, than anything else that's um, in this box. But um, I'm gonna share that watch with you guys for sure. Um, but before I do, I thought this would be a good opportunity to go over the other watches in my collection. You guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, I am a pocket knife person. This channel is uh, specifically like, it's like 99.9% .9 pocket knife stuff. But a lot of you also know that I like watches. Now. I don't know nearly as much about watches as I do pocket knives. I am still an absolute beginner in this territory. So if you're a watch guy, maybe you clicked on this video expecting like professional <laughs> tabletop watch content. Um, I'm just gonna save you a little bit of time. Maybe I am not a professional. I don't get all of my terms correct, um, but I do find this fascinating. I'm still learning and I wanna learn uh, more. So uh, I'm gonna go through and um, talk about each watch and then at the end, I'll show you guys what I picked up. So thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram. Where's my card? At metal underscore complex. Okay, so all of the watches that I can link will be linked in the description. Uh, I'll also link this case because I, I feel like people, um, I've shown this case before and people always ask me about it. It's really great, this Talbury uh, 12 slot watch case. Um, you, there are cheaper alternatives on Amazon, but um, I picked this up a while back because I thought it looked great and it really has just been spectacular. Um, so it's got slots for like I keep my um, my uh, tactile turn uh, zirconium pen in here, um, my Citadel flashlight, that's the resting place for the Citadel if you've ever wondered. Um, that's where that goes. And then usually down here in these drawers, it's just whatever knives I'm carrying. It, it rotates all the time over here. I've got uh, clasps and things from past modding projects, I guess. Uh, my my actual ring, because I wore a, a rubber ring when I handle knives and things on camera, just in case what I'm handling is not mine. And then change makes it in there every now and then. But yeah, it really is a great case. So let's start off here, <laughs> two, almost three minutes into the video and talk about this one. This is a uh, Seiko Samurai. I think this is like it's like the Save the Ocean Edition or something. I can't remember exactly which version this is. This is the watch that started it all. And this watch was actually uh, sold to me by Nick Shabazz. <clears throat> I had expressed many times like wanting to get into watches and he said, do not get into watches. Don't do it. Don't get into watches. He, he yeah, you know, but <laughs> I, irony. <laughs> Right. Uh, he he sold me this. This has a uh, modded clasp from Strap Code, and this this watch really set the uh, this set the tone for me because I loved how this watch looked. I loved how it felt. It's a little bit more bulky. I've got a, a larger wrist, so I, I like how this looks. I don't like smaller watches. I found that I really prefer watches between you know about forty two and forty five, but. Um, I also really enjoyed this diver's clasp because my my wrists swell, especially in the summer, and so being able to ratchet this into a custom position on the fly in, uh, instead of like removing a link or, or going a little half steps or whatever, I, uh, I found that this was just um, uh, much better. I also really loved the idea of a watch being waterproof. That was a new thing to me. You can a watch that looks like this. You can get it wet. Not only can you get it wet, but uh, it's, it, you can like drop it in a lake and it'll be okay. Um, that was wild to me that uh, watches could be waterproof and submerged. So I started to learn about uh, divers a little bit, things like that. Seiko in particular, the Seiko divers, um, that really uh, <laughs> that really got me quick. Um, I uh, there were so many that I thought looked so fantastic, and I was kind of basing it off of the love for um, this samurai here. 
Um, but uh, that was that was my first real watch, I guess. The, uh, before that, you know, maybe in high school, I, I might have had a fossil watch or something like that, but not, not anything really all that special. But huge fan of this one, and uh, I, I don't think I'll ever get rid of that. By the way, I wear all of my watches. I don't do the same thing that I do with some of my pocket knives where they're safe cleaned. Um, <clears throat> no, all of my watches get worn. I just have a different view of, of watches, so it doesn't, I just, I like to wear them. This is my only quartz watch. I'm a big fan of automatic watches. Learning about, you know, automatic watches, the fact that they just keep going. You don't have to replace the batteries. You just, they just keep going as long as you're moving. I thought that that was absolutely fascinating. I, I had no idea. This is all stuff that I have learned within the last three to four years. So this is a um, Serge Panchenko Model 3. This is the only quartz watch I have. And it's really cool. And it's also very, very different from... Um, the watches that I am used to picking up, but um, he was kind enough to let me check this out and keep it. And every now and then I put it on. It's nice that I don't have to set it or wind it. Eventually, obviously, you know, the uh, the battery will have to be replaced. But I also like that you can replace these panels right here, swap them out with, with a different color to give it kind of a different look. Um, this one's a little bit smaller than some of the other stuff that I wear, but I like to wear it periodically because it's so different. This is probably the most unique looking. I mean, you can tell there's a theme here with a lot of this stuff, save for a couple of them. Uh, moving on, this was, I think, one of my more recent purchases, and man, this thing gets worn all the time. I, With all of these Seikos, I almost immediately go to strap code, <laughs> I said strap code, strap code, which was pointed out to me by some other awesome people. Levon and, uh, um, from the Knife Nuts podcast and Nick Shabazz have been very helpful, like teaching me about watches and the watch world. But they, uh, they pointed out if you want a better um, strap to go to strap code and um, pick up a, a nicer, um, nicer strap and obviously the, the diver's clasps. I don't like leather bands. I don't like the, I like metal. That's just what I like to wear. Um, I, there's a lot of people who think I'm crazy and that I should try out the, I've tried it. I've just, it's, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but I, I always just go and immediately replace these, uh, these straps, um, because I think they're a lot better than what Seiko comes with. This is the ice diver. It's, it's a sumo, um, but it's the, the ice diver edition, I guess. I thought this was pretty much the most attractive Seiko watch that I had seen that wasn't like, you know, in the grand Seiko department. Um, but the sort of icy, uh, waffle dial and the gray bezel. I um, also like the size of it. Just the look of this uh, kind of, I think they call this like the Reese's cup um, <laughs> bezel. Uh, I'm just a, a gigantic fan of this watch. And this one was a lot more expensive. This is one of the more expensive Seikos um, in, in this uh, group here. Um, but I just, um, I, I had to pick it up. I've actually owned, this is my second Sumo. My First Sumo, I ended up selling to Nick Shabazz, and then I think he sold it. So I have no idea. If you bought a black Seiko Sumo from Nick Shabazz, well, that used to be mine. Uh, moving on, we have the, I believe this is the King Turtle. Um, I liked this sort of black and bronze look. This is another one. They're all going to have marks and things on the band. But again, they always have these clasps. That's such a big deal to me to be able to adjust this on the fly. But I liked how big the face was here. I also like that we have a waffle dial. Um, I like the uh, ceramic bezel, right? It's just a really good looking watch. And honestly, I think probably one of the better priced um, Seikos for what you're getting. Um, it, it really is spectacular. This watch, truthfully, probably gets worn the most. Um, and this is the uh, Steel G-Shock. I, uh, I wear it all the time when I go to my son's wrestling tour. Well, both my kids are in wrestling. Um, but uh, I wear it when I go to wrestling tournaments. I, I love the G-Shock because it's solar powered. You just pick it up and <laughs> you just go, right? I think it syncs up with the app, uh, the application on my phone. Uh, I like how it looks. I kind of like that retro look. Um, and I also like that you can push this button up here and it lights the screen up just for a moment. Um, so if I'm you know, on vacation or something and I wake up early in the morning, it's nice to be able to just push this uh, and take a look without having to turn my phone on and having that beam of light hit my face. But I, I just love this watch. I never thought, I've always, I remember always looking at G-Shocks and thinking, man, those are ugly watches. And um, for whatever reason, 
uh, I got introduced to the steel one, and I was like, man, that's actually a sweet watch. I love that. I wear this all the time. And as much as I love, this is also waterproof. I think it's maybe 20 bar, I, I believe. I know it says somewhere on there. There's a lot of text on there. Um, I, uh, I love the automatic watches. Um, but, uh, you know, being able to just pick up a watch and not having to wind it or anything like that, or set it. I know there's, there's, every time we talk about watches, there's always one person who brings up, why not just get a smartwatch? I can't tell you something that I, 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 I think I'd rather duct tape a porcupine to my wrist than wear a smartwatch. I, uh, I hate the idea of having to take something off my wrist and charge it all the time. I hate the idea of being even more like plugged into the internet than I already am. Um, as a content creator, I spend way too much time on the internet as it is. Um, I tried a smartwatch for roughly two weeks and I hated it beyond, beyond reason. I, I absolutely hated it and I'll never do it again. Um, but <laughs> anyways, this is the, um, the Seiko Marine Master 200, um, which you know, I bought for the same reason I bought a, a, a lot of these other ones. A lot of them have the same look. Um, but I looked at the 300 and I was like, man, that's really cool. But at the time, I was thinking I couldn't afford that one. Once again, we have the ratchet class. These really are great and they're worth the money. Um, but just love the look. I also liked the idea, much like um, these two here, that the crown was sort of at an angle. Um, so, yeah, this one's just a little bit classier, just a little bit shinier right it's also definitely one of the more expensive ones um but uh really really happy with this one it's absolutely this was my favorite seiko of the group um before uh, i uh, picked up the ice diver still very much love it and i still absolutely uh love to wear this watch it definitely gets vain a lot of these have actually been worn legitimately in um lakes and oceans and pools i can't remember which one i took to vegas with me but I, uh, I just love the fact that I can take these and, um, and wear them in and around water and really not have to worry about it. I don't dive, so having it waterproof up to, you know, 200 meters or whatever, that doesn't make a, that doesn't really matter to me, but I feel like that the vast majority of people who collect dive watches also are not diving with them. Um, I just think that it's, it's neat. Um, this next one here, I actually got two of these. Uh, this one is all black. This is the TFG diver or the tools for gents diver. Um, this has got a helium escape valve on it. Um, which again is, is not something that I really need. I think, I don't think the thing was exactly to the top there. Let's see, we, it's got a really tight, close click there. But anyways, is it almost, there's like an in between, there's an in between click at the top. But if I can't get it, then I'll just move on. Anyways, uh, this one's in all black PVD. And uh, this is a, I believe it's a 45. It also has a see-through back. Um, this is a Swiss-made watch. Um, I, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it other than it is exclusive to Tools for Gents. And um, I absolutely love this. This is the only black watch that I have in, in my collection. Um, but I love the way that it looks and not everybody likes like a gigantic, and by the way, I, I know that these are not all set correctly. I couldn't be bothered to set the time correctly on all of them. So I'm sorry about that, but not everybody likes a gigantic cause this is pretty big. Like a 45 is really big as I've been told repeatedly by uh, <laughs> other uh, watch enthusiasts. But for me, it works. I, I have, I don't have the biggest wrist in the world, but I have a larger wrist and a smaller, especially when we get down into like the 40 um, uh, watches that it's just too small for me. I, I just personally don't like it. Even if everybody else in the whole world absolutely hates it, I, I don't care. You know, I just, I, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Ceramic bezel. It's actually a really, really nice watch considering it's got the milled clasp, the ceramic bezel. It's got the signed crown. Um, it's, uh, let's see, 500 meters. Yeah. Um, really, really nice. And I, I don't think it's bad at all, uh, for the money. I'll have these links down there as well. They come in a, a bunch of different colors. Um, and I think various straps and things like that. Uh, green, blue, black, probably more. Um, I believe they call this the Seiko monster. This was actually a gift from a friend. Um, and <laughs> this is, it's one of the, the, like, one of the watches that just looks a little bit different and I love it for that. I love the clasp. I love, I'm sorry, not the clasp, but the band. I love how it's polished in between the links there. Um, and this one, um, I would say probably gets 
it gets worn just as much as, as any of the other ones. Um, but uh, I, for some reason, I, I like to reserve this one for special occasions, even though it, there might be a better watch in here, you know, according to whoever, like some people might say there's, there's a better watch in your, um, in your box there. Uh, for special occasions, but for some reason I caught it. I got it in my mind that this was a special occasion watch And so I just Wear it for special occasions, but I I love it because it's different It is such a a different looking watch than anything else that I've got here um, but you know again It's an automatic. I think I like how thick it is and I really like the bezel I like how those meet up there on the sides. Um, it just is such a tanky cool looking watch um, I, I can't remember the actual name of this, but I know that it's referred to as the Seiko Monster. I be, I, be, I could get that wrong, maybe, but I, I believe that is the case. I also like these watches with the magnified uh, uh, date over here. I think uh, I think that looks really good, and it makes it a little bit easier to read. So it's also the only other watch I own that is blue um, on the dial there. So very cool. Next up, we have the other, this was my first um, uh, TFG diver. It is exactly the same thing as the black one. It just has the steel band. The only disappointing thing about these watches is I cannot find a um, diver's extension clasp to fit this watch. Nothing that is, and, and that's the reason why I have these extras down here, because I've tried various sizes and they just don't quite fit. So the only thing outside of, I wish that these had screw down links. They don't, they have the, the pins, right? The screw down links are definitely better. But the only thing that I would prefer to be different on these watches is at least the ability to get the uh, ratchet clasps from uh, strap code. Uh, outside of that, I it's just about a perfect watch for me. May, maybe a little bit on the large side, but I still love how this looks. I think it's really classy. Uh, everything lines up correctly, um, which I, I didn't even realize was a thing. <laughs> Once somebody pointed out like, oh, the dial's off or the bezel's off, I was like, oh, God, now I got something else to obsess over, right? With pocket knives, it's centered tips and things like that. We have yet another Tools for Gents watch. This was my first venture into titanium watches. So this is the Tools for Gents Titan watch, and um, it also has the see-through back. Um, has everything that I love about the other watches, but it is titanium, and this is noticeably lighter than uh, the steel watches. Initially, that, to me, kind of felt like it made it feel a little bit cheaper. But after wearing it for a bit, I realized, no, it doesn't feel cheaper. It just feels substantially lighter on the wrist, and I really like it. Um, this is a good-looking watch. I love the cross swords for tools for gents. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a little bit sharp under here, but I, I can't say that I noticed it too much. I kind of wish that that was over here. Same with these, uh, TFG divers up here. Um, but, uh, really just a spectacular, uh, watch. And I love that it's titanium. Love that it's got the milled class, the see-through back. Um, it's just been great. Um, this was, yeah, this was the, the watch that made me realize I, uh, like the idea of a, a titanium watch. They're just, they're just really, really expensive. It's, it's so, um... It's so hard to find a titanium diver uh, that's like under a thousand. A few of them exist, but um, yeah, it's it's just it's just really rare. So I, I think it's cool. There's a lot of companies out there like you know like the retailer tools for tools for gents. Um, they do their own watches. They put like well known Seiko movements or other movements into their own watch. And I just am not familiar with these. It's just because I have I have reviewed uh, pocket knives that have come from the Tools for Gents retailer, um, they've periodically sent me watches as well. So I'm really glad that they did because otherwise I would never have known that this titanium watch exists, but it's very nice. This watch, this was my first crazy purchase. And I, I still to this day absolutely love this watch. Uh, it also is my special occasion watch. Uh, I think this one might make a little more sense uh, than the Monster, but uh, this is a Formex Reef, and I want to say at the time this was seventeen hundred. That was a scary purchase for me. Now I've spent way more than that on pocket knives, but that's not scary to me because I'm familiar with that uh, that territory. But um, this watch that was definitely definitely scary. But my goodness, how beautiful! And what I really loved about it. 
I can th- I think you can see. Yeah, I got a couple of marks and things on this this bad boy from wearing it. This has a built-in um, uh, sort of slider. You can see there the uh, the extension clasp. That being built in and having the Formex logo on there, that was really cool. I I get really into clasps. I think that clasps are are very interesting, but. This one's a little bit smaller, and it has this one. I have what I have on it right now is the um, stainless steel bezel, but these bezels you just pop them off, which I thought was really cool about the reef, and you can put on uh, different bezels. So I also have the ceramic black um, that I can put on here, which looks really great with the gray. That's the reason that I picked up the uh, version of this in um, the the gray. Uh, face so that I could buy the various, if I wanted to, the various colors of bezels and um, kind of switch up the look without creating a weird contrast. But I I am head over heels for this watch. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful watches I've ever seen. And that was a lot of the reason that I picked it up. I wish that the date was over here. I don't necessarily like it at the bottom, but I can't really complain too much. It's really cool. And truthfully, I think this is the best band that I've ever felt. The band on this is absurdly good. It is just way too good. Um, and I, I never knew that I would actually care about something like that. It makes all my other bands seem like squeaky and loosey-goosey compared to this guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a, a really spectacular one. I wish I know you guys, some of you really want more detail. And I, I the reason I can't give it to you is because I'm, I'm just not a... I'm not enough of a watch guy to be able to tell you. You know, I'm, I'm still very much a beginner. So, what did I buy? What, uh, what's going what's gonna to go in this last um, slot here? Well, um, this, is, uh, this is a watch that I have been lusting over for a very long time. And from the moment that I saw it, I remember the first time I, I saw it. It was, you know, it was online. And I thought, that is the most perfect combination of elements that I have ever seen. I wonder how much that costs. Oh, God. Uh, and then my heart sunk because I realized, oh, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to spend that much on a watch. Um, well, it's like I say. Uh, you won't until you will, right? Um, so what I did <laughs> is uh, I picked up... Um, let me move this out of the way here real quick. I picked up a Tudor Pelagos, or Pelagos. I'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce it, um, but this is what I picked up. This is a sister company. Tudor is a sister company of Rolex. Um, I know this is a terrible example, but I'll tell you, for watch guys who know much more than me, here's how I tell myself in my mind. Uh, GM owns both Cadillac and Chevrolet. Rolex is a lot like Cadillac and Chevrolet is a lot like Tudor. You're, you're buying the same capability, generally speaking, in a vehicle. One is just has a lot more polish to it, right? Um, now, I know that that's not entirely accurate and there's much more that goes into it, but I have simplified it in my mind that way. It doesn't really matter to me because I don't like overly flashy watches as much. I think they're really beautiful. I think they're really cool. There's a lot of Rolex watches out there I think are really beautiful. But what I like about this is that it's not screaming at you. I had to learn the term tool watch. In fact, that was I didn't understand what that meant until I talked with uh, Nick Shabazz about buying this, which I, I've talked to them many times. But he had to, he explained to me that that means it's a watch that you wear all the time and it's not it's not like a dressy fancy like safe clean watch like it's a tool watch you're going to take it out and you're going to use it which i absolutely plan to do in fact i think i already have a mark on this thing from yesterday um but uh i love everything about this this watch i think some people complain about the amount of text on there maybe it hasn't registered in my brain yet that that's something that bothers me but right now it doesn't bother me i love the matte bezel i love the plain black uh watch face here I love the fact that it is titanium and it has the screw down links. Um, this is a chronographer, same as um, same as the uh, Formax. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And that's one of those things I had to learn is what makes certain watches cost substantially more than others. I mean, some of it is the name, sure. I mean, especially with, with Rolex, right? But when you do like an in-house movement and the movement is like ridiculously accurate and then you have... Um, you know, something that's a chronographer, which I, I guess means like third party verified. And then it can also cost more money depending on who that third party is and how extensive the testing is, I guess. Again, I'm new, right? But uh, 
I uh, I just thought you know they it, a watch is a watch and they just put the name on it and then you just pay more for the name. No, there's a clear difference <laughs> down to like the the bezel on this, which is a sixty click. Good lord, the difference here <laughs> between this and my other watches. Another thing that I really like is that on the Pelagos, it has a a heavier detent on the twelve o'clock, so you you if you could I guess do it in the dark. Uh, and not even be watching and kind of find that perfect spot there at the top, which I, I thought was a nice touch. It has the coined bezel that I like. It's got the markers that I like. It's super easy to, um, you know, to read. Uh, if I have, uh, oh yeah, well, of course I have a flashlight. It's right here. Uh, the other thing I like about this, and, and you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and do all of these. Oh, I went too far. Two, three, four, five. Um, all of these watches have really good loom. Um, and, uh, that's another thing that I didn't know how much I would actually like or care about. Um, they all have excellent loom. Um, but, uh, the, the Pelagos is, is really, really something special. Um, and I also like that it's blue, much like the, uh, Formex, which I'll glow that one up here real quick. Um, but yeah, they're all great, but man, the Tudor, uh, this thing is wild. They all look great. I love all these. I guess it's uh, poor G-Shock. Um, but the, uh, the, the Pelagos is, um, wow, the thing is just like a nuclear blast, man. It's so bright. I, uh, I just love it. Um, but really, you know, there's a lot of stuff here I could talk about. Obviously, all the, the markers line up. You know, uh, I, I love how they're, they're actually set into the face. You can see that they're, or they're partially set into the face. I, I love that. Uh, I love the hour and minute and second hands. I just think it's such a classy watch. It's not a watch. Like, if you don't know better, this just looks like a watch that you could go buy for 50 bucks at Walmart, right? Uh, and I like that. I, I don't want, I don't necessarily always want something on my wrist that screams, I'm super duper expensive. Um, but I like this for me. Like, the watch is on my wrist for me, not for anybody who might be looking. And I, I just love knowing what it is and just being happy that it's exactly what I want, right? Now, I don't need, once again, I don't need 500 meters of <laughs> waterproof depth. But what I do really like, this just this just absolutely sold me. This, this is the most interesting clasp that I have ever seen on a watch. Number one, it has ceramic detent balls for these these clasps here but this is also a built-in uh extension clasp and it actually has yet another extension back out here but what's really cool is it's got these three settings right here and on the final setting it actually flexes because there are springs underneath here that means that at all times not only can i have it set to exactly the um, you know, exactly what I want, the setting that I want. But if my wrist swells in, in, after I've adjusted it, the strap will actually flex to adjust for my wrist. Um, this is truthfully one of the most comfortable watches I have ever worn. And it's we it's crazy because it's actually kind of thick. Um, it's a 42, this is a Plagos 42. And given that it's, it's thicker and it, it looks in my opinion, actually bigger than a 42, this is absolutely perfect. Um, it, uh, it wears a little bit larger than this guy, a little bit smaller than this guy, uh, similar actually to, um, you know, in my opinion, I might be wrong about this, but very similar to these two, uh, the Marine Master 200 and the Ice Diver and the comfort is just there. And uh, truthfully, it's not that much lighter. I, 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 I but I, I, I do like the fact that it's titanium. That's really cool. Um, this, um, this just does it all for me. And uh, I, I'd love to sit here and say that I have completed my watch collection and I'm never going to buy another watch. But whether you're into knives or, you know, you're into watches or you're into shoes or you're into whatever it is, when you tell yourself that it's the last one, it's not the last one. The only barrier that I've created for myself is the fact that my favorite case, a case that I definitely do not want to um, you know, I, I don't want to change this case out. I, I love this case. So the only thing keeping me from buying another watch right now, I think technically is the fact that I've run out of room. Um, but, um, yeah, this, uh, this feels very good. It feels very complete to have this filled up. 
Um, there are lots of other dive watches out there that I have looked at and thought um, would be really, really cool. Um, and I'm, I'm certain that I will at some point get around to checking more out. But for now, I think I'm just going to enjoy this completed case um, and especially the, the Pelagos, um, which uh, is just, just beyond perfect for me. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. To my, to my pocket knife audience, I, I hope that this was entertaining. Uh, to people who are really into watches, I'm sorry that I am such a noob, um, but I hope you got some entertainment out of it anyway. Um, this, is, this has been fun for me. I'm glad to uh, finally uh, have, have done this. That's going to be pretty much it, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.